This is Gary Kay with Kay Contracting in Phoenix, Arizona. We're at one of our downtown Phoenix maintenance projects. And um, it's about 110 degrees right now, 10.30 in the morning. You really don't get much hotter than this. <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to show how plants, even desert plants like this right here, which it's a succulent, not really a desert plant, can suffer if it doesn't have just the slightest bit of shade, as opposed to this one, which is the exact same plant, exact same time period of planting. Here's another example. This is a lantana. These are planted all over the Phoenix area. This one's really suffering in the, in the direct sun, has no shade, and yet the one right next to it is a lot greener, a lot healthier, and it's just got the slightest little bit of shade from this thing right here. Here's another good example. Uh, we've got some nice lantana. We've got a agave under there, which can usually take the heat pretty good, and some shrubs in the background doing pretty well, even in this horrible heat. And yet right next door, in the bright sunshine, we have the same exact plants. These are the same exact variety. And as you can see, they, uh, they have a much harder time. So when you're planting desert plants, especially in an environment like Phoenix, which is the extreme, you really got to worry about shade. Provide shade for your desert plants and you won't be sorry.